At impact, everything that was folded or contracted on the backswing must unfold or extend on the forswing. This propels the golf club at a maximum speed and ensures a proper return measurement to the ball. You know, in great golf swings, you try to hit the ball off the side of your body. And the position of the right foot at impact is just absolutely critical. And what I want to show you today is, see, when I hit the ball, see, I like to think that my right leg and right knee and ankle, see, they formed a Z position with my foot, leg, and upper leg. So many people, what they do is they leave this foot on the ground, and when they come through the ball, because their knee has not short, their leg hasn't shortened, what it does is it forces the shoulder to come into a high position. So if, if this leg is down like this, what it does is it literally raises the right shoulder because there's no room because your leg's taking, taking it up. See, if I leave that straight, it forces the shoulder up. Whereas, see, if we get to this position, we're solidly on the left side. And you can see it's just like I'm hitting it right off that right thigh, and it creates a tremendous setup position with your left hip. But at no time do I want that foot on the ground raising that right shoulder. On the follow-through, hold your angle of address until your right arm pulls your head up naturally. You never, ever release the head in front of the arm or you've come out of it too early. So when we come through that shot, we're right, that chin stays right to there till that right arm gets to a horizontal position and the momentum is gonna take us right up out of, right up to a vertical position. So as I come through the shot, we're right here, right here, right here, right here, and it squares itself up, comes right underneath, and then the elbow folds, brings the club back around. Yeah. And, and then you... we come on up, and that shaft will finish pretty much about eye line behind your head, right? Right. Let this arm extend, elbow. Okay. No, right at impact when you come in, making that practice swing, let it. Let it now, let it extend, let it ah, Now it got, got uncocked at the right place. Right. See, See I'm it. coming from a folded elbow to an extended elbow, and the shaft caught up with a left arm at the shoulder ball line. At the finish, you've gone to a left leg balance, belt buckle to the target. I tell you, that's what you call slugging that ball. That's yeah, solid. I'd like to have you not hit the ball this time, make a swing, and let's hear the swish of that club head. It'll whistle almost, okay? That's what you call accelerating a hunch. Uh, that's good. Okay. If he don't talk to you, he <laughs> yeah, hasn't swung it. That's killing it, man. After impact, hold the angle of address until your momentum raises your head naturally. Allow the rest of the body to follow. Finish with your weight on your left foot, belt buckle to the target, the club shaft behind your head at the eye line. <laughs> 